what I'm gonna try and do here, guys, and I'm sure there's probably some of you that are gonna freak out and be like, no, you shouldn't do this. I'm gonna try it anyway. It's a new year and we're chasing new adventures. We're Mika and Reggie, camping newbies intrigued by the RV lifestyle. So we made the decision on the weekends to move from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand, and sea in our RV. So we have shown you travel days, but we've never shown you the beginning part of our travel day. And we're about, as I like to say, to relieve some of the pressure of the back seat and all of the things that we have. That we have? That we have. Yeah. It takes a village, and the village is it's, we. No, the village is in the back of the seat. <laughs> That's the problem. Hashtag decor. <laughs> More is more. <laughs> All is necessary for the vibe, the vision, and concrete camping and concrete glamping. Stop. So in today's Travel Chronicles, uh, we showed up this morning to hook up and for an undetermined reason, uh, the place where we store our rig at decided to drop the pin to the lowest level. And so the challenge with that for us is because our truck is lifted, we are now in a position where we cannot get the hitch over the ball. There's not enough of a clearance. And so the solution right now is for Reg to just completely take off his hitch and see if he can use that as some leverage to get underneath the ball to lift it up. So we'll keep you posted, but that is the only game plan that we have as of now because it's a Sunday and um, the storage facility is closed. Not ideal way to start a trip. What I'm going to try and do here, guys, and I'm sure there's probably some of you that are going to freak out and be like, no, you shouldn't do this. I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to try to just get this, try and hold it, and then have Meek back in and get it in the uh, receiver. So that's the best way I think I, we can do this. It's got some maneuverability, so we'll see what happens. All right? Here's the issue, guys. Our 
apparently someone had the bright idea at our storage facility to take my post, uh, pe uh, the post um, pedal here, the pedal stand, and, rem and raise it all the way up. There's a reason why I leave this down a couple is because typically, because our truck is lifted, I need the extra height. It just doesn't make sense why anyone would touch or mess with someone's settings. So I'll be having a conversation with them about this, but we got to get out of here and get on the road. So looks like the uh, concrete camping hack worked. So good job, Mika. Way to back that thing up, girl. It's a village. <laughs> huh? I need to go longer. double check to make sure the hitch is on we just took it off the ball just double double check all right reset so now that our delay is over we are hooked up and now we are relieving the stress of the back seat doing our minor transfer of things into the rig. On the road. Guess the rain is our welcome gift. We have arrived. Aren't you excited? Yes, I'm extremely excited. I feel like we have recovered from a very trying start to the day. Uh, was it six. Seven, six hours? And yeah. how long should it have taken us? Uh, probably about four and a half. Okay. But nevertheless, um, it's beautiful. Immediately we, when we pulled up, just seeing um, the ground. Yeah, it was, it was kind of like something out of... TV, uh, pulling onto the grounds, the gates opening, you know, driving through, um, and just the manicured lawns, concrete paths, and beautiful views. I mean, it was it was all that, you know. Pulling in, it was very impressive. Like we immediately knew this was concrete camping and glamping. Yeah, absolutely, and then even down to the kind of the concierge service, which you know I think is it's a nice touch, uh, but could be a little overbearing um but i understand you know they we want to make sure you get to your site okay they uh want to make sure that you back in appropriately um that you do it safely and their concrete pads though i'll tell you that it's super super deep and wide yeah you didn't ha i mean you really had no issues pulling in there there was no issues about let's do the dance because of the slides being impacted by where the location of the utilities were. Right. Um, but I, I understand, but I think it also may depend on what time we come, you come in. We came in during the daylight hours. It mm. wasn't very busy, right. but still it's a large park. And so just not having that guessing game and being taken immediately to our spot, I think was very helpful. No, I, I agree. I can see the benefit. I, I really can. Um, you know, especially if you're coming in late at night or if you, um, 
of course, we had never been there, so it was helpful to get to our site easy and quickly, just following uh, the concierge. So. process yeah. is I help you back in, get situated, we make sure that we're level, and then you do your thing. Yeah, I mean, and I we have this constant debate, though, about the slides and our stabilizers. I still think that this the stabilizers not- should go down first, and then the slides should go up. I don't think you should, because why are you trying to stabilize an environment that is not in its final resting place? Conversation for another day. Let us know, folks, where are you in this um, debate? Do you do stabilizers first, then slides, or slides, then stabilizers? I would love to hear from you. Please share in the comments. The reason you want to hear because you think you're right, so. I don't think I'm right. I'm just curious. <laughs> Yes, please. uh, Let us know your thoughts on that small debate between the two of us. But um, setting up outside is is pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, Make sure that, you know, we pull out all your decor, all the decorations. Hold up, flag on the plate. My decor is not the first thing that comes to mind. It's only, it has to come out. That's the only way I can get to the stuff that I need. That is not true, sir. (laughs) Flag on the plate. Intentional grounding of my character. You guys saw the back of the seat. That's what I'm living with. That And that was just, a t- that's just a touch, a smidge of what we have. Moving on, I think it's just safe to say that after the start of the day that we had, we are staying in site 252 in the water's edge section. And we were very thankful to be pulling into the type of an RV resort that we did because and people sometimes turn their nose up and are like there can't be a thing mm-hmm. like a resort like yes how, uh, there's been a lot of people who have spoken to who said what do you mean by rv resort like what what is there's what is resorts that? for rvs i said absolutely and this look around yeah this is i think the best definition so far for our experience that yes. defines what an rv resort is yes from the services that are on property, the pools, the level of service, um, amenities, and then a location, location, location. It was our first time at Hilton Head, and we were very impressed. We've been to a lot of beach towns, a lot of beach communities, um, but I feel like Hilton Head is what some other beach communities strive to be. Yeah. Or maybe have modeled themselves after. Yeah, correct. Um, but I was highly impressed with it myself uh, yes. as well. I mean, and even even our site. I mean, we literally, our site is facing the golf course, the Hilton Head Golf Course uh, on Resort. So it's a beautiful view. The pool is literally steps away. Um, and it's just water and beautiful views. I mean, it's just perfect. And because it was so perfect, um, it was so much that we have to share with you guys that we decided, hey, we needed to split this up into two videos. So stay tuned for part two of our adventures to South Carolina and the Hilton Head RV Resort. But we just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what our travel day entailed and a sneak peek of, of the fun that's yet to come. We look forward to bringing you guys um, more of our adventures here and sharing you, bringing you along with, um, with us as we go explore Hilton Head.